This is a bird cage pole with outlet lantern. It weighs about 20 pounds. It's going to need some installation, basic skills of wiring, drilling, and we're going to unpack everything and show you what it looks like, parts, and get this thing installed for you. Out of the box, we have a template. The template's important to drill three holes and where your AC is going to go through. The accessory bag. You get your three anchors. These are anchors. Be careful about your zone with frost. A tool and wire nuts and cap offs for the lights. Make sure you got the bell cap that goes on, the nut and the screws. You're going to take each of the poles out made of metal. If there is any scratches, defects, please contact the company and you can basically paint this with your own paint, metal paint. You have the metal base post along with the part that's inside covered up and protected, which is your GFI outlet. Inside is the post where your wiring goes, your lantern with the supplied light bulbs. It's a nice hard plastic light bulb, LED, 110 volts. They screw into the base and they give you a warning sticker, the amount of wattage that is allowed. The maximum wattage is a 100 watt type Heinz 3 lanterns with instructions and explicit guides on how to wire up your GFI outlet. That this is the outlet with the nice cover closed up for weatherproof outside in the cold. So what we're gonna go do now is install all this, pick a spot where this is going to go and start our project. There's gonna be a number of ways of doing this. If you don't have a GFI outlet and just a standard pole, you just go ahead and wire the whole thing up. And if you do have the outlet like so and you wanna bypass it, you can do so by not installing it. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna fish the lines through, grab the other end, and carefully, don't cross thread, but tighten down and start to look for where this is going to go on with the supplied Phillips screws that you're gonna take off. They're located on top here, they're on loosely. Take the other wires and push them through the bottom and align your pole up without catching any of the wires and put in the best you can and hand tighten each of the bolts and then start to work down the bolt. You're given a tool or you can use a crescent wrench so this way you could tighten the bolt and not strip the head. Take the pole, you're going to lie it down, you're going to take the leads and you're going to do a little twist on the wiring, don't worry about it. And you're gonna take the next pole and you're gonna take the one that has the female end, which is the threads on the inside, and snake your leads through. You're gonna grab the leads, pull through. Over here, you're going to start to do a little counterclockwise and clockwise turn, and then start to lift up and twist. As I twist in the open, this stands pretty tall. I stand six feet tall, and this street lantern is going to be a good seven feet. Don't let these wires, you know, fall out. You can take some tape, you can bend them out. This way they hold on top while you get the other stuff to start to install. It is important to understand which way your lanterns go and the light switch, the actual outlet, which is a GFI outlet, you want it to face the proper way at your place. This I call the top hat. It's your photo cell, dust to dawn, that it turns on. It's got a red, black, and red wire that you're gonna hook up, and all three lanterns are gonna go in here. So you're gonna wanna sit down, make yourself comfortable now, and start to put the top head together. In the meantime, you can put this in an area where you like and start to mount up. 
those are the options for what to do. You're going to have here is one nut, one star lock washer and nothing on the bottom. You're going to take all this off. You're going to pick one, slide it through both leads. It's going to come out the bottom. The hardest part is getting this and tightening down. How are you going to do that? Can't get your fingers in there. On the top, there are two screws. Carefully unloosen. Remove the top off. On the inside, as you're holding everything, you're going to get the lock star washer on. The nut on. Please forgive my hands when they're in the side of the picture. Don't cross thread. Get them on there and start to tighten down. When that's on correctly and it spins correctly and you tighten this down with the wrench that they give you, take your time doing the best you can to tighten down. The question somebody's going to ask, can I use a socket to get in there? Well, you could just barely get this one in there. Now, once you tighten everything up with the supplied wrench and everything looks good on top, you take the top cap and you place it back on, get one and then get the other screw. What I'm gonna do is take some tape. I'm just gonna put a piece of tape so I know this goes together and take a piece of tape that I know all the whites go together. I'm not gonna use a ladder, but what I'm gonna do is take the pole. I'm gonna lay it down like so that I can work with my leads right here. We're looking at the paper here and we're going to explain it real careful to you. There are three black leads, which are your loads, and they're from the lights. And you have your three neutrals from the lights. As you can see, I have them separated. And then I have my photo cell, a red, a black, and a white. I'm gonna take the red and the black, the fixture, three leads, and the red from the photo cell I'm gonna put a wire nut on. Then I'm gonna tape it down. Then I'm gonna take my neutral, which is the white from the photo cell. You got three and one. Repeat the same process. Tape it down. And I'm left with just a black. I have over here, I'm gonna take my Black to black, my white to white. That'd be my next connection. I did it this way so nothing can fall off or get lost. So now I'm gonna have four whites and I'm gonna connect. I'm gonna tape down. And I'm gonna finish off with my black Going to twist this, put a tie wrap on it, a wire nut, and then this is all going to go in here. I'm going to do my best to lift up, push in the wire nuts. As I do that, I'm going to lift off the table, make sure no leads are touching, and I'm going to lift up, and I'm going to lift the pole. And I'm going to start to tighten down by just putting my hands back here and tightening. So now the installations of the poles all done and you saying, hey, what if I don't have electric outside? Can I run an extension cord? Yes, you have to modify the bottom base to fit an extension cord, a hole, and that would be all up to you. You're going to pick a spot for your pole light. I'm going to mount mine over here with my ACs all taken care of. In your holes, take your template out, no longer needed. I sunk my anchors in, they're not hard. And we are just simply putting the wire nuts on like so, white for white. A little tape goes around it. And if you want, you can check your AC now before you hook anything up. Make sure you're tying down your screws, your washers, and then you're able to get this on and slide over 100%. You take the bell nuts, you tighten down, 
And remember, this tool doesn't fit the bell nut, so you're going to have to use a larger crescent wrench. Open up the cover, hit the GFI button. We have AC plugged in to show you that how things work. And if we need to use any AC, I have a plug that we can plug in. Now, before we finish everything up, we still got to put the little knobs on top. And that's it. Tighten them down. And then we could do our finishing touches. We have AC plugged in to show you that how things work. The Paul Bird Cage Lantern. Three 100 watt bulbs, a golden color, a warm Kelvin, does a nice job, very bright, very elegant, it dresses up your front of the house, your driveway, wherever you want to put one of these. I hope this is a product that you're looking for that may be right for you, for your house. Enjoy your product, and I hope you have fun building it.